Hi, I'm Sister Geraldine Schmidt, and you're listening to Musings of a Catholic Evangelist. So the first one, the fir our first talk is called Instructions for Life. Um, some time ago, I was, had the great joy of going through a small museum in northeast New Jersey, Morris Museum, and it was an awesome exhibit right after Hurricane Sandy through, came through um, New Jersey and devastated the shore. And there was a photo journalism, photo essays of that devastation of what Hurricane Sandy did. And I was taken back by the graphic images. It's beautiful. But, but in, in, in the background of the museum, you heard this two little two year old boy giggling. And then his father saying, Whoa, buddy, not so fast. And I never saw them, but I went through most of the gallery and a couple other places. And you always heard him, Whoa, buddy, not so fast, not so fast. And I'm like, OK, so I'm meandering through this museum. And I finally come to the dinosaur. I'm like, why not? Let's go through the dinosaur and see what they have. And then I meet this two-year-old who looks at me, begins with my, sh my sh shoes, and goes up to the top and go, whoa, completely stopped at his tracks. And his father said to me, oh, I wish you were with us the entire day, because <laughs> he's that's the first time that he's stopped. Whoa. That reminds me of something. Um, in a diocesan office, we have a for sale uh, bookcase. And I was doing a presentation on the Eucharist. And there was a magazine on the Eucharist in the for sale. I was like, oh, good, free, free resource. And I was slipping through the magazine. And in the magazine, there was a very short poem by Mary Oliver. And it called, it's called Instructions for Life. That was the title. And a, a three-line word. Pay attention, be astonished, and tell others about it. Wow. And as I began to ponder, there is a reason for why that it would be in, in a magazine on the Eucharist. Pay attention. You know, like, I think being the plugged-in generation, okay, we're all caught up in looking at our phones and the latest app or the latest tweet or the latest text. And we really don't know what's going on around. We've lost sight of what's going on around us. I mean, how many videos have you seen somebody walking down the hallway, down the street, and falling in a manhole? Or walking down the street and falling, like, walking into a telephone pole or a side of a wall or, or something? But pay attention. Pay attention to the way God speaks to us in silence, in gentle whispers. Pay attention to what happens in liturgy. Because if you do, you'll never be able to see it through the same eyes again. And when you pay attention, and, and pay attention how to how God acts, astonishment and wonder follows. You think of a child, you know, my little friend in the museum looking at me, whoa, wonder, or the first snowfall that we all experienced, or the birth of a child, the wonder of life. And to living in that wonder, that's 100% countercultural. To live in that, to, to purposely live, to make a decision to live in that wonder. Whoa. Whoa. It's, it's astonishment. It's astonishment at, at the height. It, it's, it's owning to the depth of our heart that we're sons and daughters of a God who cares, cares for you, cares what's going on in your life, cares about your joys and your sorrows. And that, the result of that is evangelization. You have to tell others. You tell others about your love, about why you love. I mean, think of human love, you know, a newlywed or, or a young couple, don't you go out and share why you love the person you, know, you just met, or, or you know, those quirky things that you just make you giggle. Why don't we do that about God? That's what evangelization is all about. That's what a missionary does. You talk about the astonishment of God's love. And who and what can assist in that journey? The Eucharist. Because in that gazing on the Eucharist, in that adoration, that moments of adoration, 
there's the astonishment that God, the creator of the entire universe, can become bread and wine. Hungers for, God hungers for a relationship with us. God takes great delight in getting to know us. Whoa. Whoa. How often, if we really own this, would we become that, that 18 month old, that two year old who looking up in God, at God and go, whoa, and starts and stops in our tracks. And you're listening to Sister Geraldine, Musings of a Catholic Evangelist.